Okay, so for this Tip Tuesday, we want to talk about a really helpful app that you can use. Um, if you want to, um, it's actually not a pre-approval, but um, to see about your price range, what you should be dealing with when you're looking for a, for a house. So first of all, um, download from the App Store uh, My Mortgage Toolbox, and it's a Dominion Lending app, and it looks like this just like this okay and then from there you'll just sign in and create your account and then in the top of the app when you go in it's going to say get pre-qualified you're going to click on that get started um, and then just continue and then you're going to type in where you plan to buy we'll put in Sylvan Lake And the next thing that they're going to ask you is, are you buying a house or a condo? Um, let's just say for the sake of argument, you're buying a house. So you click on house. From there, it asks, do you plan to rent out your house, your basement suite, or none of it? And we'll just say, no, we're not planning on renting. Uh, then they're going to ask how much you have for a down payment. So. Let's pick a number. You can use the little slide bar on the bottom. Let's pick a number that you've got saved up. Let's say you've got $25,000 saved up. Okay, and then from there, do you have any outstanding balances? So here you're gonna put in your credit cards, your line of credit, which we all have some of those. But for this, we're just gonna click no. Uh, any other loans? Let's say you've got a car loan. So let's say, yes, you've got a car loan. And it's gonna ask you the monthly payment. Let's say, we're gonna say $500 a month. Other loans, we're gonna say no. Because this is a type, typically like a hypothetical person. Right, but when you're filling it out at home, put in honest result, honest answers so that you get uh, a real result. Um, what is your employment status? Employed, self-employed, or pension? We're going to say employed. Uh, what's your gross annual household income before taxes? So again, you can use the slide bar. Let's say, for instance, you make a hundred. Your your uh, house household makes say one hundred twenty-five thousand. Let's say one hundred forty thousand a year. One hundred forty-five. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. And then do you know your credit score? So, um, I just want to interrupt here. Push the I don't know button. Like most people use Credit Karma or something like that. But if you press the I don't know, most people have an idea where their credit is. So that gives them a choice of excellent credit, good credit, or needs work. Right. Let's say it's got excellent credit. So then it's calculating. And you hit calculate my home price. And then it gives you an amount that you would be pre-qualified for. Um, it tells you your monthly costs, mortgage payments, estimated expenses, all of that. So it kind of gives you a starting point um, if you're still waiting to hear back for a pre-approval and you want to get out there and start looking at houses. And we would suggest you, you get a hold of a mortgage broker to get pre-approval because like I said, you don't want to be, you don't want to be looking at something that's way out to lunch on your price range. Uh, this for instance, with all the, all the numbers we put in there, the maximum home price purchase would be 481,000. So yeah. Anyway, that's our tip today. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.